We just made this front porch welcome sign planter box with interchangeable pieces. And we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do a builder to make it? So do we. We have a new video each week. This week, we're going back to the front porch with some new welcome signs. This one's got a little basket for some flowers at the bottom. <laughs> We were asked for a way that someone could display our door rounds with something other than the front door. So what we've come up with is a new take on an old favorite, our porch planter. So it was the vertical porch planter. We did a welcome to our home vertical. I think we did a summertime vertical. Yep. So this time we're going to expand this a little bit. This is gonna be three pickets wide, so just a little bit wider, so that you can hang a door around on the front of it, and then still have that planter at the bottom to hold your summer flower, or your poinsettia, or your mums for the fall. So the you bottom know. will be interchangeable flowers, yes. and the top can be an interchangeable door hanger. Yes, that uh. is exactly what I'm thinking. So you can swap out the door rounds on your planter. So I think it's gonna be really cute. I'm kind of excited about this idea. I can't wait to see what it looks like. So I drew up some plans. I'm no draftsman, and now we're gonna throw it together. Step one, we're gonna gather all of our supplies. We needed four six foot tall dog-eared fence pickets. These are five and a half inches wide. And these are the premium pickets. Now you can get some that are just a little bit cheaper, but they have a much rougher surface. This is a much smoother surface and will take the stain easier. And these are about currently. Currently. These are like $3.98. So pretty affordable. Pretty affordable. Then we needed one one by two. This is an eight foot long. That's all we could find. We need some one and a quarter inch screws and some wood glue. That is it. And this lumber was a total of, it was what, under just 25 under bucks. $25, so mm -hmm. it's even affordable. Step two, uh, we're gonna make all of our cuts. I'm gonna leave the cut list down below, but we're gonna start with these six foot tall fence pickets. And we're gonna get a lot out of these, this one picket. So each picket will have a portion of the backer, a portion of the front of the basket, and a portion of the side of the basket. So we're gonna, we're gonna use most we're of our We're using materials. it all. Yeah. <laughs> Cut three pickets at 43 inches for the back of the planter. Using the same three pickets, cut three at 16 and a half inches for the front and part of the bottom, leaving three at 12 and a half inches for the sides. For the fourth picket, cut three at 16 and a half inches for the bottom and back braces, and cut one at 12 and a half inches for the side. For a total of three pieces at 43 inches, six at 16 and a half inches, and four at 12 and a half inches. For the one by two, cut two at 16 and a half inches, and four at nine inches to be used for inside bracing. Step three, time to assemble. We're gonna build our backer. We're gonna start with three 43 inch pickets and two 16 and a half inch pickets. Now these are gonna be used for braces in the back. This is to help prevent warping. So we're gonna use a lot of glue and those screws to keep these braces tight against these pickets. And we're gonna place two on the back, one at 12 inches from the top and one at three inches from the bottom. And we're gonna start it with a pilot hole and use a one and a quarter inch screw. Next, we're gonna make the bottom. We're gonna use one of the 16 inch pickets and one of the 16 and a half inch one by twos. We're just gonna screw them together just like that. Just butter it up against one edge of the board on, on both boards. We got two of them we're doing two. We're making our front. We're gonna use two 16 and a half inch pickets 
and two of the little nine inch one by twos. And we're just going to come up the width of one of the one by twos and glue and screw this down to the sides. Hold it together. Hold it together. Right, this front piece is going to sit on the backer, so we have to leave that spacing just the inch and a half. Or three quarters of an inch. It's yeah. the inch and a Here's half. Here's what we'll do. We'll use this. Yeah. We'll set this flush and then we'll know exactly where it goes. There's our front. Looking all beautiful already. I'm gonna set that over here with the, with the bottom. All right, we have the front, the bottom. Now we're gonna do the sides. Oh, now we're doing the sides, yeah. Next, we're attaching the sides. We're gonna use these little 12 and a half inch pieces. We're gonna attach them on the top and the bottom of the front on both sides. Just draw a line at the top of that thing so I know how far I can go with the screws. Next, we're back to the back. We're gonna use those little nine inch pieces on the back, do the same thing that we did with the front and use a bottom as a guide. These little nine inch pieces will give something the sides can bite into. Yeah, for that front flower piece. Next, we attach the back to the front. Hook it in there. Stretch it on out. Stretch it on out. Yeah, I'll tight. hold it for you. <clears throat> All right, this backer is flush with the back of the sides. Back of the sides, does that make sense? Yeah, back of the sides. Coming at me. Coming at you. Time to add the bottom. We're just gonna put the one by twos. One one by two goes towards the back and one one by two is gonna go up towards the top. You kinda gotta slide them in together. It's a tight fit. Oh, oh we should've glued it. Why are we playing this glue game every time? <laughs> We're gonna add two more screws on either side towards the middle, just to make sure that uh, middle's kind of sturdy. Do you wanna stand it up to do that, to have that bottom flush? No, I'll do it right here. Okay. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Give the old extra screw. All right, that's well, what we got so far. Yeah, I like it short and squatty. I like mm -hmm, it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Step four. Now we paint or stain. This is like a paint stain. So I'm trying a new product this time. I haven't tried this before. This is a Minwax wood finish solid color stain. So you can get this in this darker blue can here, tinted in a bunch of different colors. We're gonna leave ours white because the front of the can says pure white or tint base. We did ask at the paint counter, you do not have to tint this with a white. You can just use it as a solid wood Straight stain. out of the can. Yes, and I'm a little, there you go. Yeah. It looks like paint. Looks like paint. So, but it's Do supposed to be a, a stain. Brush, or are we gonna use a sponge? I was gonna try a sponge. Do you want me to try the sponge to start with? And yeah, then... let's start with a sponge, see how it goes. Yeah. Do you have to wipe this stuff back off? Yes, if it's thick, you wipe it off in two minutes. Okay, all right. So, let's see. 
I'm very, well, what I was looking for is a whitewashed look. I don't know what I'm gonna get from this product. Uh, I did I did wanna do this in a, in a white color because I'm planning to set this out in front of our shop as kind of an inviting little thing. Yeah, it's gonna go in. with our hanging. Um, come on in, look at these door hangers. Yes. And hanging not on a door. And I wanted it to match the one we did here recently. Looks like white paint to me. <laughs> I don't think we'd wanna wipe it off. I kinda like how you can barely see the green through it. Yeah, that was what I was hoping, that I could still see the green a little, but not a lot so a little bit not a lot i guess if i you know like wipe it in well i shouldn't have to it said you didn't wipe off any excess so if there's no, no yeah, excess it'll, it'll dry excess. yeah it'll dry hold the side of excess and the great thing about these stain pads look look how quickly i can apply this stuff well, this part might be fast forward, so they will really think you're doing it fast. <laughs> Step five, and now we have the accents. We're gonna add the flowers, put a hook up here, and then throw a door hanger on it. So I got this hook at Lowe's, nothing special about it, it's pretty plain. There are some more elaborate hooks. I had every intention of going and getting something really cool because I think that'll help like set off the top of it. But for now, this will do it because the sign will speak for itself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put it on a stool, put the flowers in it so that we can figure out where the door hanger will go. Ooh, I'm saying like right at the tippy top. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I already knew it was gonna have to be at the yeah. very top. <laughs> All right. I've, uh, I did that in my pre-planning. That center? Um, no. Don't split the wood, don't split Please the wood. Please don't split the wood. Don't split the wood, don't split the wood. Don't split the wood. Please don't split the wood. Can I get one more twist in? Yeah. All right, we got a little nubbin back here. Little, Just a little, little nub. Yes. I say leave it. Kim says it's a danger, it's a hazard. I'm saying if anybody's behind my sign, I'll be like, why are you hiding behind my sign? Safety first. Now, now you're trying to look? pull it through. It just looks mauled. <laughs> we'll, we'll leave it for now. That little guy is tough. Yeah, we'll leave it for now. All right, let's put it back up. Yeah, we'll finish this video and take care of that. <clears throat> little hacksaw, little hacksaw, little hacksaw. Jim Duggins will take care of that. <laughs> Ooh, can you reach it? No, I cannot. Look at that. Go ahead, take a step back, Kim, take a look. Oh my goodness, I can see it in the camera up there. It looks good. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Yeah, I like how squatty it is. Yeah, how it's like short. Yeah, how it's short. And you short. don't have to worry about the door hanger. Some people complain. The door hanger is just tickling. Just tickling the leaves. Yeah, and now you can switch out your planter and your sign for fall. This can be mums, this can be poinsettias. You know, I like it, but. <laughs> I was just thinking this looks like it's kind of plain. I mean, I guess it's nice as is, but I was also thinking that we could put something right here. Like maybe, <laughs> maybe one of our, the planter we just did, could we put those interchangeable pieces right here? And then maybe a summer one matches a summer one. Or maybe it just says welcome. There's a lot of maybes. Or maybe it just has my a monogram on it, an initial on the front of it. What do you think? I think you gotta pick one. Are we making it? I think uh, I think we should use the same interchangeable pieces from the flower stand, the hanging flower stand from a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. Well, let's try it and out. Uh, I mean, let's try it out. Like, like you can leave it like this. I think it looks nice. But I think we could jazz it up. <laughs> let's jazz it up. Let's jazz it one up. One more, one more step, I suppose.
cut out some MDF pieces to make a little frame that we could slide these interchangeable pieces in and out of. You recognize these? These are from our planter we did just a couple of weeks ago. So I have a piece of quarter inch MDF for the top and another piece with a little lip on it and the same for the bottom. And then to account for the magnet, I have a little piece of eighth inch birch we're gonna sandwich in here. We'll glue it together, make a little frame. Yeah. Yeah. Why are you pushing so hard? It's glue, it does its job. I'm making sure it's there. All right, you wanna try it? Yeah, okay. All right, let's see if this works. I have confidence that it will work. I'm gonna slide this one out. And we'll slide this one back in. Oh, like a butte. I guess we didn't make sure if it was centered, huh? Oh, you did? Um, I, I, yeah. Yeah, she eyeballed it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you wanna put the flower back in? Yes. What'd you think? I think it turned out great, better than I could imagine, actually. I didn't think it would actually turn out this well. I do like the, uh, the height of this thing. Yeah, so like I said, this was a request of how can I hang my door hanger on something other than my door? Uh, and like I said, we have the post, but I love this option. I love being able to swap out the planter, the flower for the season, your hanger for the season. And now it's look, like a whole new planter every season. Fill this front space and I can put something new there. We do offer these little interchangeable pieces as kits in our store. We're gonna do one for each season, packs of four, um, for I think there's a winter, a fall, a summer, and, and spring spring yeah <laughs> yeah each season <laughs> so yeah i like it i like it a lot i think it's a really cute it's a great option i like our patrons yeah and a big thanks to our patrons we love you guys I, I love interacting with you guys i say it every time but i'll put out a file you guys will comment it on comment on it i put out a file this week for everybody to test and I got some great got feedback. Some feedback. Yeah. yeah, it's a great like community. That. So if you don't, if you haven't joined us over on Patreon, our top tier patrons do get our SVGs. But if you don't have a Glowforge and you don't want the SVGs or need them, you can also join us for our monthly Zoom call, our outtakes, our after show, our polls and questions, interactivity. It's a fun place. <laughs> it's like a big family. Well, we are a about out of time, so if you're not going to join us for the patron after show, we will see you next week where we'll do it, build it, and make it again. Dough is way too heavy. It's way, way too heavy. I think I got heavy. it. Let's see. Oh, it is so heavy. Oh, 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 that one got me. It's too heavy. <laughs> I was even gonna help you, it was still too heavy. 